Creatures called the blobs. Creatures called the blobs. In paint box land. If you're a blob, you can change for any job. Want to ski? Just blow your toes. See the sea? Just blow your nose. Flap your ears and pigs can fly. Startling witches in the sky. It's puppy purple. It's not the night that's giving Mousy Brown a fright. There's Goosey White. What has he seen? Oh no, it's Grouchy Grumbly Green. There's the king. He's royal blue. And Poppy Red. She's popped up too. Creatures called the Blobs. Creatures called the Blobs. Bright and sunny, fast and funny Blobs. Creatures called the Blobs. Creatures called the Blobs. Blobs, Blobs. Orange was the happiest, fizziest blob in all of Paintbox Land. I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm always in the tizzy. I'll never stop until I drop, that's why they call me fizzy. And fizzy was also the most helpful blob. Whenever he saw someone who oh. needed a helping hand, he was always the first there. Can I help you, Primrose Yellow? Let me carry your shopping for you. Oh, you are so kind, Fizzy. Oh, and while you're at it, <laughs> could you carry these few parcels for me too? Of course. Anything to help a friend? It was a very hot day, and Primrose Yellow's parcels were very heavy. And the more Fizzy Orange walked, the less Fizzy he felt. Phew! I feel quite worn out. He was very relieved when they finally reached Primrose Yellow's house. Oh, thank you, Fizzy. You're very... Say, am I imagining things? Or are you smaller than you used to be? Don't be silly, Primrose. I'm the same size I've always been. I am just a little tired, that's all. Fizzy waved goodbye to his friend and made his way back home for a rest. But before he had got very far, oh. he saw Princess Powder Blue. She was trying to take Puppy Purple for a walk. Puppy Purple, you naughty dog. Slow down. Even though he was feeling very tired, Fizzy Orange wanted to help her. Would you like me to take Puppy Purple for a walk, Princess Powder Blue? Oh, thank you, Fizzy. He won't do anything I tell him. Don't worry. I'm sure he won't be any trouble. But Puppy Purple had seen Inky Black's cat whispers. And he decided that it would be more fun to chase a cat than to go for a walk. But Puppy Purple wouldn't slow down. He followed whispers over Grumbly Green's garden fence. And through Grumbly Green's garden. And up Grumbly Green's drain pipe. Finally, down Grumbly Green's chimney. Ooh, dust, dust. Nothing but dust. I hate cleaning. It makes my nose itch. He was rather surprised when Whispers, Puppy Purple and Fizzy Orange dropped in to see him. Fizzy Orange? Why don't you use the front door like everyone else? Uh -huh. I'm so sorry for making such a mess of your house, Grumbly. Oh, I don't care, since you're the one who's going to clean it all up again. So, after Fizzy had taken Puppy Purple back to Princess Powder Blue, he had to clean up all the soot in Grumbly's living room. And afterwards, Grumbly had the cheek to ask Fizzy to mow his lawn, too. Oh, dear. I'm so... 
I haven't got a drop of fizz left inside me. Hurry up, Fizzy. Don't take all day. And when he had finished, poor Fizzy had to walk back to his house, which was all the way over on the other side of Paintbox Land. Later that day, King Royal Blue gathered all the blobs together. Where is Fizzy Orange? I haven't seen him all day. Well, I, I saw him this morning. Uh, he helped me carry all my shopping home. And he helped me to take Puppy Purple for a walk. Yes, uh, well, uh, I did ask Fizzy to clean my house for me. And, um... Mow my lawn. Come on, let's go to Fizzy's house. If he did all that today, he must be exhausted. Fizzy Orange, this is King Royal Blue. Open up. Fizzy, whatever is wrong with you? I don't know. My fizz has completely disappeared. I'm not surprised. Everyone has been making you work far too hard. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's your problem, Fizzy. You're so busy helping others, you forget to look after yourself. Right. This is our chance to help our friend. We must find a way of giving Fizzy his fizz back. But how? Suddenly, Canary Yellow flew down. Well done, Canary Yellow. We'll tickle Fizzy's fizz back inside him. But no matter how hard King Royal Blue tickled him, this is still remained small and fizzless. Uh, it's no use. I'll never get it back. I've lost my fizz forever. Tickling isn't the answer. What Fizzy Orange really needs is a glass of fizzy juice. As Fizzy drank Inky's Fizzy Orange Juice, he began to grow in size and fizziness. Oh! I can feel it! My fizziness is coming back! Very soon, Fizzy was back to his old self again. Hooray! Cheers for Fizzy Orange! I'm bursting full of fizz again! After that, the other blobs were very careful with Fizzy and never asked him to do things that would wear him out. And so Fizzy never lost his fizz again.